Hello Gemini, this is your astrology forecast for February. The big news this month is that your ruler, Mercury, goes retrograde on the 7th of February till the end of the month. Starting out retrograde from, from the 7th to the 14th, that second week in your 10th house, uh, Gemini's. So it's time now to reflect on your career direction, to reflect on the people that you work with or work for, to reflect on those relationships, not to take action necessarily, but to reflect on what it is you want to achieve in your work area, maybe also to reflect on where you feel your destiny is, to really think about it, because when your ruler goes retrograde, your mind can slow down just a little. Now, I, I know, Gemini's, your mind doesn't slow down much, but during the retrograde, you will get an opportunity, maybe, to see something a little clearer, especially if you're willing to meditate and go more slowly. And the last two weeks of the month, this Mercury goes retrograde into your ninth house. This is a great time for considering uh, maybe studying something, uh, maybe a really important course for your higher education, your higher learning. Or maybe you want to teach something, maybe a seminar or a workshop or a training. Or maybe you want to write something, especially good for writing when Mercury is retrograde. Any kind of anything, any report, or technical writing, or fictional writing, or creative writing, this is wonderful for it. It's also very good, um, if you're looking for that, for meeting somebody from overseas and really connecting with somebody overseas through the written word, through writing in some way. Because this is the ninth house of publishing. So if you want to be published and you're thinking about that, really be thinking about doing the research during the retrograde and then next month when it goes direct although maybe I should say because next month we've got a um, Mars going retrograde um, you may find that by May middle of May you may be ready to move forward on a lot of the research that you've done of course the usual things during the retrograde I would not buy big ticket items or if you do keep the receipts so that you can bring them back if you don't like them when Mercury goes direct. And of course, try not to sign important documents or have important discussions and meetings and take action during the retrograde. It's good for research and um, reflection and re-evaluation, but not necessarily for the action until your ruler, because it's so you're so sensitive to a Mercury retrograde until it goes direct. Now, on the 14th of February, on Valentine's Day, we have a wonderful full moon in Leo. And this full moon here for you in your third house. Sorry, I nearly put it in your second, but it's not. It's in your third house. Wonderful time. It's the Gemini house. Great time for socialising, for connecting with new people, for networking. You might meet a romance through networking. You might meet somebody that's really just lovely, that you can have fun with. This moon in Leo is about fun, is about pleasure, is about enjoyment. Gemini's, make sure you bring that into your life. It's romantic, the full moon in Leo. There's a possibility of romance during the full moon in Leo. Bring some romance into your life. You know how to do that, Gemini's. You've got your mind going in all sorts of different directions. There are so many ways to bring romance into your life. A flower, a note, a message. It can be anything, but bring that into the lives of the people around you. And you will see things really perk up. It's an opportunity for things to really perk up for you. Now, um, for the first, um, until the 20th of February, we've got the sun in the ninth house. This is highlighting anything to do with travel, planning travel, and study and learning. And then it goes into your 10th house from the 20th of February onwards, shining a light on your career, your direction in life, where you want to take your direction. And with Neptune there as well, it's important to listen to your dreams. What are you dreaming of? What would you love to do when you get up in the morning? Are you doing that? Well, if not, 
this sun there gives you the opportunity to shine a light on it and maybe take some baby steps to moving in the direction of what you truly, truly love. Now, we've got Venus going direct this month, so any kind of financial plans or arrangements, um, you should be able to move forward with them. Obviously, there's the caveat of Mercury being retrograde, um, but still, there may be some information that comes forth connected to finances that's very useful to you. It's very helpful. Um, and somebody may help you financially. That's also another possibility. Uh, we've got Mars in this fifth house still all month. So still, put some energy into your creative energies. Your creativity, Geminis, you've got tons of it. Put some energy into it and enjoy. Make sure you are doing at least three things every day that you enjoy. Really make sure of that. Now, for the last two weeks of the month, the important thing here is that we've got an exact square between Jupiter and Uranus. Um, and Jupiter in your second house and Uranus in the 11th. So make sure that you're not living beyond your means. Jupiter has a tendency to go a little bit over the top. So there could be money coming in, but it's just slipping through your fingers. You're spending it quickly. Because this is a surprise. Maybe a friend surprises you and maybe needs some money from you. Um, but it's important that there's a balance here between the Jupiter energy of the money uh, flowing in, but flowing out, maybe more of it flowing out than is flowing in. So you just need to keep an eye on that. And there could be some new friendship, all of a sudden somebody new coming into your life that you're very excited about. Make sure that you're not getting overexcited about this person and that you're taking your time in getting to know them in this relationship. So there you have it, my dear Geminis. I want to wish you um, yesas from Greece. And thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.